Hello and welcome back to the Aftermatch. Today we're at the Armco Arena where Solihull Moors will be hosting the National League's Hollywood Club and promotion hopefuls Wrexham. It's just a week ago since these two teams last met where Wrexham won 5 at the race course. Can we expect a similar game today? Let's find out. So after visiting Anfield just a few days ago, we've dropped straight back down to the National League and the Armco Arena, where we are instantly reminded of the stark contrast between the dizzy heights of the Premier League and the 5th Division. Nevertheless, we should be in for an interesting matchup today between Solihull Moors and Wrexham. Last week's reverse fixture was a rather one-sided affair, with the Red Dragons coming away with a 5-0 win. But the Moors will be desperate for revenge, and they definitely need it, being 23rd in the league's form table. Therefore, we could be in for a very different game today. Now the Armco Arena is a bit of an outpost with Birmingham Airport being the only other place within walking distance. So if you are going to arrive early, the grounds inside bar is probably your only option. But if we're being honest, it's not the nicest unless you go through to the other area. But then that's the National League for you, often neglected and underfunded by the football pyramid. As the players began to warm up, it seemed Wrexham were the sharper team, but we decided to go try out the food. There was a burger van just behind one of the stands selling all sorts, but I went for the burger and it was amazing. I can't believe out of all the grounds we've been to so far this season, Solihull Moors had the best grub to offer. Although, apparently the pasty is a no-go. Just before kick-off, it seemed that after losing 5-0 to Wrexham last week, Solihull Moors had decided the only way to stop them was just to remove their goal. Next, it was time to find our seats that had an amazing view if you ignore the big steel pillar. But luckily for us, we didn't stay there for long as you pretty much have the freedom to move wherever in the home end. So we decided to join some of the Solly Hall fans standing behind the goal who unfortunately had a front row view of Wrexham's opener, courtesy of Jordan Tunnicliffe. However, the goal seemed to give Solihull Moors a kick up the backside that they so evidently needed and were arguably the better side for the remainder of the first half although they couldn't make this purple patch count. There were a few cries for a penalty from both sets of fans on several occasions, but that didn't stop the first half ending 1-0 to Wrexham. Can Solly Moors come back out with the same tenacity, or will history repeat itself with Wrexham running away with it in the second half once again? Well, it wasn't long into the second half until Wrexham's Thomas O'Connor made it 2-0 from a stupendous free kick into the top corner. Neil Wardley probably felt a little bit of deja vu as things were now looking very ominous for his side again. Well, being as the game was predominantly being played in Solihull Moors' half, we thought we'd move again to bring you closer to the action. But it's what we will say, if you are planning to sit in the uncovered section, home or away, remember to bring a hooded coat or a very big umbrella, because if it lashes it down with rain, there's no two ways about it. You are getting drenched. Solihull Moors did manage to keep their opposition at bay, despite Wrexham's best efforts to triple their advantage. And in the 91st minute, Derby County Loney Bartosz Cybulski looked to mount a very late comeback for Solihull Moors as he pulled one back. Not that he knew much about it. However, his goal proved to be nothing more than a consolation as it was too late to deny Wrexham another three points. So it's another huge win for the Red Dragons as they capitalise on a game in hand and move to just two points behind league leaders Notts County. Meaning a win in their remaining game in hand will see them pinch the top spot back and be on course for promotion back to the Football League.
On the other hand, it's a very disappointing result for Solihull Moors, who will believe they deserved at least a point today, but it wasn't to be. Neil Ardley's side really need to get back on track and start picking up the points soon if they have any hope of making it to the playoffs. But for now, we're going to venture towards the dugouts to try a look at getting a quick few interviews in. Let's see if we can grab anyone. Disappointing result, but you've got to be happy with the performance today, no? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, you know, Wrexham home and away was always going to be tough. They're a big, strong team of men who know how to win games. Um, we got punished for any little thing we got wrong today, which is what good teams do to you. But, you know, their keepers had to make a few good saves. We've had enough chances, one cleared off the line. Um, but the performance was the main thing today. And now the next two months of this season is going to be where we need to try and get ourselves in a position where coming into them last nine games when we're in the playoffs fighting for an exciting end. All right. So is this a result you can build on then? Do you see positives? Yeah, uh, listen, result. football's about results. Um, we know that. But it's a performance that I asked for. Um, it's not the result I asked for. It's a performance I asked for. What we've got to try and do is make sure that we keep putting in good performances and performances that get results. And we, you know, we're away to South End now on Saturday, and that's going to be a tough one. Yeah. With Phil Parkinson here after the game, obviously a good three points. You close the gap on Notts County. You've got one more game in hand. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? Tough, tough. But it was always going to be after the win on Boxing Day. Uh, I thought Solihull responded well. In fairness to them, but it started quick and. Uh, Positive as you'd expect, and we we kind of got a foothold in the game, got the goal, and um, had some good spells. And second half, I thought we played well. We, we dominated for long periods, and got the second goal, which was an outstanding free kick. Um, and then obviously we conceded the last almost last kick, last kick of the game, but it was never going to be as, as easy as people may think. We after winning five 0 on Boxing Day, we had to really earn it today, but we certainly did that. Yeah. All right. So it's Coventry away next week in the FA Cup. Is that a challenge you and the players are looking forward to, or is it an unwelcome distraction? Obviously, promotion is the main objective. So how are you feeling about that? No, it's just it's a great game for us to, to go there and, and test ourselves. Um, it was important we go there on the back of a win today. We've done that. We're going to have an amazing support down there, and we're going to go and enjoy the day. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with Ollie Palmer now after the game. Looks like you. It was a tough battle out there. But you got the three points. That's what's important. Uh, how'd you find it? Um, yeah, I feel obviously it's always going to be difficult after playing um, on Boxing Day and winning five 0 at home. So we always knew it was going to be a different challenge today. Um, and you know they're they're a good outfit. They're a good they're a good team that'll be fighting to get into the playoffs. You know, if not, maybe an automatic spot if they can put a good run together so it's, it's always going to be a tough place to come but I think we've managed to grind out a good result and um, you know another dominant performance but we had we had more chances than to be fair they had a couple as well so it's probably quite a good game for the neutral yeah so it's Coventry City away next next week in the FA Cup uh, chance to play against the championship side uh, looking forward to that yeah I think you know obviously our main focus is the, is the league um, but it's, it's you know it's to have a good cup run is always beneficial for the players and the fans and the, and the football club. So we want to do well. We want to go there. We're going to try and win the game. Worst case scenario, bring them back to the race course. So um, it'd be exciting. I expect the gaffer might make one or two changes just to keep people fresh for the league. But we've got a good enough squad to do that. And um, hopefully we can have a good run in the league and also a good couple of cup runs. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Cheers,